What's going on, guys? What's going on? Erica from Erica, Erica from the Erica World Network here, and we are back with that motherfucking hack, that Wii U Smash Brothers mod implementation. We are finally back, and we're gonna be doing that bitch live on camera. Now, if you guys remember the last time that I attempted this, things got a little bit overwhelming because at some point I realized that maybe it's not a good idea to do a first time reaction to installing a fucking mod on a Wii U with people following along when I don't know what the fuck I'm doing in the first place. And it was a little bit hard trying to read along with what Nikki was saying. So I just took some time and I got to know the process backwards and forwards on my own end. So this way I could totally understand and I could show you guys who are following along accurately so you don't fuck your shit up in the process of me fucking my shit up. So thankfully, I think I've gotten most of the kinks out and today we are going to run through the entire process from start to finish on how to prepare your Wii U for Smash Brothers mods. And just a little bit of disclaimer, we ain't pirating shit, Nintendo. I know your ninjas watch me on a regular basis. Dog, we ain't pirating nothing. You ain't playing no games for free. You ain't downloading no free games and none of that bullshit, okay? We don't support that on this channel. <laughs> we don't support that on this channel at all. I'm not fucking laughing for no reason. I, I, I'm being real. I'm being serious, okay? So no piracy at all is going to be showcased at any point during this stream. So I'm letting you know that. Another thing is that this is going to be done not for commercial purposes or anything, but just for our personal use for our own games, stuff like that, cosmetics, mods for the um, character model, you know, stuff like that. We, we're not doing anything too wild, okay? So, Nintendo, if you're looking to cut my dick off, please reconsider. Please understand, okay? By the, by, hopefully, by the grace of Kimishima, we can avoid anything like that happening. Um, big shout out to everybody in the stream as well too. Shout out to the chat, shout out to the sponsors, and big shout out to the new sponsors joining on board, the Mikolator. So now, when it comes to the hacking process, you're all probably wondering, okay, Etika, where do we start? And I'm going to try to make this as noob friendly as possible. You know, when I approach things, usually it's from a perspective of someone who doesn't know what the fuck is going on. Therefore, we're on entry level with this whole thing. So. I'm, I'm doing this raw dog. Like, if you're walking into the stream, you have a Wii U, you haven't done any modifications, any soft hacks, nothing on it, then this is the stream for you because we're going to be going step by step. So, what are you going to need for this? Well, obviously a Wii U. I'm sure many of you don't even have that specification. Y'all niggas ain't got no Wii U. The Wii U barely sold, man. Well, okay, that's a joke. But still, obviously you need a Wii U, right? The second thing you need is a copy of Smash Brothers, whether it be physical or digital, doesn't really matter. So Wii U and Smash Brothers for Wii U. The next thing that you need, this is something that you know shouldn't be too difficult. We all have some of these laying around. Is an SD card, um, like a standard size SD card, not the micro, not the mini, the one that can fit inside the Wii U. Note: if you already have an SD card that you actively use for your Wii U, you're good. Don't worry about it. Now, another thing that people ask me. Oh, we have Julian Mario joining in the sponsor group as well. Julian, thank you. Join the sponsor group. Um, um, link to the sponsor chat is in the description for future reference, guys. But the micro SD, well, not, I'm already fucking up. The SD card that I use is 32 gigs, so you don't really need one this big. But I would suggest having it bigger than 2 gigs if you could. But the one that you use for your Wii U is just fine. And the last thing that you need to pull off Smash mods for your game is a pack of Twizzlers. This is nothing pertaining to the actual mod itself, but just to keep yourself preoccupied with a good candy while you're installing this mod. All right, so that's all the hardware that you need. SD card, Wii U, Smash Brothers for Wii U. I'm guessing if you have a Wii U already, most of you guys have that. I was told that apparently this can also be done from the um, from the USB dongle, but we're not. I, I I wasn't doing it from that method, so this is the only one that I know right now. So if you have those things, if you have those three requirements, Wii U, Smash Brothers, and the SD card, let me know by typing a motherfucking thumbs up in the chat. That's step one. And if I get enough thumbs up, then we can move on to step two. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's pretty damn simple. That's pretty damn... That's foolproof as fuck. You can't fuck that one up, man. Like, if you don't got those things down packed, I don't know what to tell you, bro. You fucking like it, okay? I'm just being real. You're fucking liking if that's the case. Okay. And we got my boy Alex the Clownist. Okay. Gotta give big shout outs before we continue to the next step, of course, to my man Alex Stefanis and to my girl Nikki NW Player. I would not be here showing you guys the dummies way to do this if it weren't for these smart ass niggas showing me the way to go down. So Nikki, I owe you my dick. Alex, I owe you my asshole, okay? Both of y'all. 
I'm promising y'all my dick and my asshole respectively. So this way, we get the respect out the way. I put some respect on both their names. I have them linked in the description of this stream slash video so you can give them the proper thank yous as well. Another thing that I want to do is give an amazingly large thank you to all the guys who made the mod tools for this. So Nikki made a couple of tools, I think. My information might be a little bit off there, but the, the guys that put in the work to make these tools for us to have these mods working in our game on such an easy level as well, big thank yous to all those guys. I'll get them linked in the description too because there are some main motherfuckers that I gotta give props to for this whole thing. A lot of us don't really take time to acknowledge the creators of these hacks, like Samilam and whatnot, even though he didn't do the one for the Wii U, but I mean, we have to give respect to those dudes because they, they need it. They need the encouragement, you know? But anyways... If we're all good, I saw a lot of thumbs up there, which means that you niggas are ready for the next step. This is going to be an easy one, all right? So now, in the last stream that I attempted, we tried to extract my game as a dump. But that's a process that is kind of tedious, to be real with you. It requires, uh, I mean, not it's not really that crazy, but it's a step that is possible to be bypassed if you just download someone else's dump. And you're going to hear a lot of references to this said dump. And by the way, Alex, Nikki, you know, correct me if I'm fucking wrong, but the dump is basically the necessary files extracted from the game itself to be able to actually install mods on it. It seems a little bit, if it seems a little bit weird or hazy to you, don't worry, it'll make more sense as we go along. But just know that the dump is the necessary files from the game to have mods running on Smash Brothers. So there's a dump that we already have pre-made linked in the description. And if you niggas want to know, after you have the hardware out the way, we use Smash Brothers and the SD card. What I want you to do is literally do what I'm doing on the screen right now. We're going to go to the screen of my desktop right now. And you see, I'm looking at the stream here. You're going to click more, okay? And you're going to go to the description and you're going to download these two things. The first link from this thing, the mega, this is going to be the link to the dump that we're going to be using for this stream. So just download that. I just usually download it through the browser because fuck it, I don't give a damn. I could download it through the Mega program, the one that um, is installed on the computer, but to be real, I've, I've noticed that downloading it through my browser takes way less time. This is a big ass file, so I suggest you start downloading this now, and when the stream went up, I was trying to tell people to download this earlier so that way we could save time, but this is going to take 13 minutes on my end. It may take more or less on your end, depending, so it's a big file, I know, and maybe some of you will have a much longer wait than usual, but it's necessary. And it's either doing this or making your own dump, which would take even longer than that. So I'm hoping that doing this is streamlining the process for you guys to make it easy for us to do these hacks. So while that downloads, like I said, I have all these files on my computer already, but I want to do this all fresh, you know, just to make sure that you can follow along on a one on one basis and know that everything that I'm doing, you can do along as well, too. So please. Go ahead and do that. Don't worry, I ain't linking you no viruses or nothing. I ain't linking you no Trojans, no goddamn, no, no, no goddamn porn links or advertising revenue or anything. Although, would you really mind? Would you really object so much to an ethical world network pop up on your computer screen all the time? I, I, I think it would work out, nigga. Yeah, you can deal, right? Hey, guys, what's going on? <laughs> Me popping up on the screen, like, what's going on, guys? But all right, so. I know for a lot of you dudes, this isn't going to download in 12 minutes. It's a big ass file, but hey, we're just going to kill time until this is done. If you won't, if you won't have this ready by the time I have mine ready, stick around for the stream anyways. You'll see just how easy this process is, and then eventually, once it finishes downloading on your end, you'll be able to keep up with it, watching the stream, recording at a later time. And I'll ensure you all that this stream goes public as soon as humanly fucking possible, even through all the YouTube edits and stuff. So. Bear with me there. We also have a new sponsor by the name of 8 Sorin Sornix Hacks. What's going on, 8? Thank you for joining in. The benefits are in the description. So we have some time to kill. So I'm going to be reading chat until this finishes. And I'm also going to be accepting donations, contributions, messages from you guys as well, too. Those will be open until this finishes, and then I'll close them again. I'm not doing it necessarily to fucking harvest money or anything like that, but just because I know a lot of people usually send me some big messages through these um, contributions, so I'm leaving the option there. Not saying you have to, but if you want to, okay? I did say in the description that they wouldn't be accepted, though, so that is going to be the case, but just making sure that you understand that. But anyways, guys, what is going on in the chat? Hopefully we're able to do this um, successfully. So far, things seem like they're going off without a hitch, but we haven't even done shit yet. It's just one download. All right. 
And yeah, and by the way, some people were saying, Etika, will this work on my Wii U? It's the most recently updated version of the Wii U firmware. How do I know if this will work? This will work for you. Don't worry. For some strange reason, it's it still works. <laughs> it hasn't been patched, so hey, whatever. Let's go to town with it, right? We ain't doing nothing illegal. All we're doing is modeling our game, nigga. There ain't nothing illegal going on here. Oh, man. Make sure you have your Twizzlers, though. This is a very important part of the process. If you don't have your Twizzlers, you're fucking up. I'm being real. Don't lack. Anyways, big shout outs to the guys in the chat right now. You dudes are the reason why I'm still rocking out. You're the reason why I'm still able to do this. You're the reason why I'm able to make niggas happy for a living, which is what I love doing. And, hey, I wouldn't choose any other job for the, for the world right now. If someone walked up to me right now and said, Etika, I'll give you $500,000. Never touch YouTube again. Never do anything in regards to videos. What do you think I'm going to do? $500,000? Etika, don't do anything YouTube ever again. There's a lot of people that can take that money. They'll be able to live for a long time off of that shit. Etika, I'll give you a million dollars. Take the million dollars right now, Desmond. Never touch YouTube in your life, ever again. You'll be set. A million bucks, man, you good. Guess what I would do? That nigga would be going home with a bad fucking, he <laughs> going home with a bad mood. That nigga would be like, what the fuck? What kind of nigga doesn't accept a million bucks <laughs> for YouTube? Damn, for YouTube? Because you it's money's money, nigga. We can make money anytime, man. We have time. With time comes money, man. Silver Absol says, my nigga Etika, let's start the donations the right way. Fuck Yoshi Hyrule. <laughs> you can't go wrong, man. That's the way you start, my boy. <laughs> That's the way. I'm, so, I'm such an asshole. We're about to go Keemstar exposed in this bitch. I apologize. But, you know, Yoshi Hyrule, I think he's redeemed himself, man. He's really shown a lot of... Uh... We have Sirenek also joined in the Spawns group, too. Syra. Syra, what's going on, man? I've seen you in the streams beforehand, my friend. I need to check out your channel, because if you got that verified badge, that means you must be doing something entertaining, man. Thank you for sticking around. Thank you for coming into the streams previously. I don't know if I mentioned you before, but I do appreciate when other YouTubers are in here. We had Burleazy in here at one point. We had Silva Gunner in here at one point. Big niggas. Big ass niggas. Okay. Big shout out as well. Oh, man, we can't go wrong here. Big shout out as well to the motherfucking sponsors. Because these niggas are the reason why I'm able to eat <laughs> food at night time. So thank you to the sponsors as well, man. Big shout out to the motherfucking sponsors. We have Silver Absol. We have Uranus. We have King of Darkness. Julian Mario. BB Nagato. We have my motherfucking boy Alex Zafanis. That's my goddamn boy right there. We have uh, my boy HR. Stream MVP. HR is a fucking god. Would you kill a puppy for $18 billion? PM me that question. No, I wouldn't kill a fucking puppy for $18 billion. No. No, I wouldn't, right? <laughs> I wouldn't, right? <laughs> Anyways, let's keep on going. Spacey Poo is in here, too. What's going on, Spacey? Vanilla Jones, but equally in the building. What's going on, Vanilla? Mr. Robert Hoffman saying, fuck Yoshi Hyrule. <laughs> God damn it, these veterans. Damn. The EWN veterans are always the most savage dudes. What the fuck? People think the regular chat is savage? Yeah, I'm sorry. The gaming chat has nothing on the sponsor chat when it comes to savagery. They just do it in different ways. Well, no. General World saying, my boy, I just stopped by, and now I'm so interested in what's happening, so I gotta stop what I was working on to watch you. How dare you, Etika? I've had a lot of people get upset at me at throwing off their day somehow. You had shit to do, and suddenly your boy is on screen, so you can't continue with your day. That's not a problem for me. I actually like that. I like that I'm fucking up your, <laughs> your life. I like that I'm fucking up your life, okay? Because you know what that means for me? More niggas to fuck with, okay? Hey, listen. All I can say is, y'all like trolling me, I know, but it's vi it's the same thing over here too, man. I like fucking with y'all when I can, but don't worry, I ain't gonna be fucking with y'all we use. I, I wouldn't play around with that. That's a serious topic, at least until the motherfucking NX come out. But even then, man, oh man, so what's up with the E3 stuff, guys? We got the PlayStation Neo confirmed, and they, they claim it ain't gonna replace the PS4, but I mean, come on, dog. Come on, dog. It's, it's obvious. So damn obvious, but hey, I'm still excited to see what it can do. Everyone was saying from the get-go that these new consoles, Bone and the PS4, are kind of underpowered for now and for, you know, 2015. They came out in 2014, 15, I think 14, I think 14, but they were kind of underpowered. 
And now we're getting updates. The Xbox Scorpio. I don't know. Scorpion? We'll see, man. We'll see. ANZ joining the sponsor group. ANZ, what's going on? Thank you for that. If you're just if you're just starting the stream right now, so um, guys, there are going to be some people that are confused. So I'm asking you this. Not as Desmond. No, 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 no. Excuse me. Gecko Takahata coming in talking about hoy. Fucking Temi came through and dropped 30 bones on your goddamn boy, man. That's a lot of Temi flakes right there. That's a lot of them. And trust me, I'm going to go straight to the temp shop with this shit, man. Thank you big time, Gecko. You're a fucking stream vet in this bitch. I always see your ass. And for some reason, your wallet is endless. And veteran silver. <laughs> What's going on, vet? What's going on, vet? That nigga silver absolutely is the biggest vet in this bitch. Like, he's one of the oldest niggas in here, definitely. Speaking about shaming Yoshi Hyrule, I noticed two weeks ago about 95% of the viewers didn't know who Yoshi Hyrule was, who made me realize that I'm part of a dying race of Etika fans. They didn't even know... What didn't they know, Silver? They didn't even know about Robin's birthday. If you bring that up again, Silver, I'm going to bring the knife out. I love you, bro, but don't, don't test me, man. I'll, I'll, I'll pull the knife out on you, man. Mr. Not That Famous coming through once more saying, Lost my verified tick by removing my website link. Don't do that shit. Dude, when I blacked out and somebody else apparently took over my channel for that time period, they changed the name of my channel. And I lost my verified tick too. Some, 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 Ramsey Young, some nigga like that. And I had to like go through a process again to get my channel verified badge back. But someone did it for me. This dude named Hank from Nintendo, he actually hooked me up. So big thank you to Hank for saving my channel from whatever the fuck that shit was. I got my badge back. And we have a new sponsor by the name of George Sin, Sin Andalus. I really wish I could pronounce that. Let me see. I could, I could put the effort into pronouncing it. I'm not a fucking dumbass. Sin and Idis. Sin, Sin and Idis? I don't know, man. I don't know. Shit. Shit. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> I give up. Fuck it. Send me, send me, the, send me the breakdown and the pronunciation Damn, and the linguistics on the fucking sponsor group, okay? <laughs> Tally's in here. Tally. Oh, God. My resident UK girl. I catch two streams in two weeks. Is this real life? This is real. Tally, I was thinking about my UK boys. That's why I scheduled this so early. So, my UK girls included too. And if we speaking about the UK boys in the stream, we can't forget motherfucking Joshua JJG, who is in the fucking stream right now. The shit is live right now. Joshua, where you at? I saw your name. Ramsey Young was better, to be honest. You motherfucker. I just gave you... You know what? Never mind. I ain't even going to talk about Joshua. Fuck that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that bitch. <laughs> Fuck that bitch. Oh, man. Just kidding. I love you, John. Um, Aria saying, first 20 minutes and this process is already clean. You're doing Damn, way you better. You're this? doing good, my man. Just hoping those twizzles aren't hardware or else your teeth will break. Don't worry. They soft as fuck. And this ABAG is also in here. Damn. All right. All the regular niggas are in here. Thank you all big time, man. But yeah, I, the, the last time I stopped because I just didn't feel, I didn't feel safe doing that. But I feel great now that I know the way it goes. So if some people are having technical issues, maybe I can help you troubleshoot it a little bit. Not too much, though. I mean, I'm not like a fucking expert. But Nikki and Axel, I mean, excuse me, Axel, um, Alex did help me out a lot with this. So now I'm not on shaky ground with this hacking thing. I can help you. And I know people are following along. So we have two minutes until this download finishes, this big download. Then we're going to go straight to the desktop and get into this, man. Like I, Okay, so guys, heads up once again. If you are just joining us in the stream right now, the process just started, and I clarified that you need three things. A Wii U, Smash Brothers for Wii U, digital or physical, no matter, the version isn't important, and you need an SD card, um, two gigs or bigger, um, standard size. It can be the one that you've been using in your Wii U for now. We're not using USB for this, but I heard that you could, but if you decide to, at that Damn, point, son, I don't know how to help you. you. But if you're using SD card, I got you. So SD card, two gigs or bigger, Wii U, and Smash Brothers for it. And I want you to download everything that's in the description. So we downloaded the first thing right here. It's a big download, so prepare your anus for that. And then we're gonna download the next thing right after this. Louise Guzman also saying red vines are greater than Twizzlers. Those are fighting words in this household. Damn, son, How dare you? This? Get red vines because the modding process will be easier. How about you put some effort into saying my name, young Ramsey? Who the fuck is that nigga? Louise, I, I, I used to say your name was Gusman, I remember. But I got it right now. It's Guzman. You'll never see me slipping that one up. Silver Absol saying also, sorry for like months I wasn't donating at all. 
the oil ran out, my boy. Listen, dog. I understand Damn, totally, man. Y'all niggas, y'all got the oil money, but sometimes there's other things to do with it right now. I get you. Those wells ain't nowhere near drying up, though, dog. So, I mean, it's all good. As long as you're spending your money, make sure that you're good. If you're donating to me, you better make sure that you're fucking made and you ain't got, like, bills to pay or nothing like that because then I'm going to feel like a fucking asshole. I've actually refunded money to people because, like, some people donate a lot and I'm like, oh, shit. Like, dude, are you sure you want to do this, nigga? Are you sure you can eat, nigga? And, and then they like, actually, I can't eat. Can you send it back? I'm like, fucking, nigga, okay, nigga. I'll send it back, nigga. So it's like, man, I be feeling bad sometimes. I mean, that doesn't happen a lot, though. That's happened maybe like a handful of times. But still, it's happened. And it's like, man, Quitman saying, you couldn't have waited until I got off the school bus? Shape my head, to be honest. Jolly Ranchers for life. How can you suck on something hard while you modding, man? With, 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 if you're sucking on something that well, I'm well, not really sucking on it, but if you're chewing on something soft, it's more relaxing because you're putting your energy into something. Well, I guess sucking on something you put your energy into it too, right? <laughs> Some people out there should know. <laughs> you gotta put your energy into sucking as well. So I guess it's the same thing. All right, I think we're good, man. 97%. 18 seconds left until this download finishes, guys, and then we're gonna be moving on. How many dudes have um, fast enough internet speed to where this was done? Um, give me a give me a one if you have the download already complete. If you downloaded it earlier or not. Give me a zero if you're still downloading it. One if you're complete. Two, excuse me, no. One if you're complete. Zero if you're still downloading. One, your download's finished. Zero, you're still going. There we go. There we go. But okay, we're 100 percent good right now. And now it says downloading it to a uh, zip file, and then we can proceed. Al what the? Okay, Alex. Okay, okay. This motherfucker, Alex, said, "Oh yeah, one. I'm finished." No fucking shit. <laughs> You're the one that fucking made the pack in the first place. <laughs> How the hell does the creator of the pack say, "Oh yeah, it finished downloading for me, bro"? <laughs> what? Okay. Really? Wow. That was fast. <laughs> this nigga, Alex, man. This nigga, Alex. <laughs> okay, I think we're good. Um, if it didn't finish, like I said, guys, please just follow along at a later point. But, you know, watch the stream at a later point to make sure that you get the process correctly. But stick with me right now. Maybe if it didn't finish on yours end, you can still see how it goes. So when you actually try it for yourself, you're good. But all right, so now we have that downloaded. So we're going to close this. And let's actually go to my desktop really quick because I want to make sure that I show you guys that hey this process is complete right now so you know we're, we're, we're all good we're all good we have red robin on the fucking desktop at the current moment this is the file that we just downloaded so it's v288 and i mean uh, armando the bongo this, so this is the last contribution for now guys he says sir you have owed me pie since december <laughs> he said check your last xenoblade stream you'll see it now i remember dude i'm gonna have to come through to new york city and kidnap you to get my pie most likely, man. You ain't getting pie easy out of me, nigga. <laughs> Fuck it. What kind of pie you want? I think it was Apple. All right, we're closing contributions for now, guys. And we're going to go straight back into the process. So right now, as you can see, the download has completed. And uh, that's the file right there. So usually, whenever I do stuff like this, I just like working straight up off of the desktop. But whatever is more convenient for you, I suppose, if you have a download folder, it's whatever. It don't matter. So now let's go back into the description real quick. And we're going to be downloading the next thing in this process. And let me make sure that nothing crazy is going on with my fucking watch. We are good. I'm taking this thing off because I need to make sure that my focus is entirely on you dudes and this process. Because I don't want to fuck this shit up. But alright. So now, you're going to go to this next link here. And you're going to let this download. Now, some of you may have an issue with this. Let's see if it happens. It happened. Okay. So right now, as you can see, downloading that file... For some strange reason, my computer decides that it is a virus, but it's not. It's a file directly off of GBA temp. There's nothing malicious that's allowed on there. That's a hacker community, basically, and if there was a virus packed up there, it wouldn't last for any more than a couple of seconds, which is what my boy Alex Stefanis, Nikki, and W Player, and any other recognizable figure in the hacking community can tell you, so trust me on that. I mean, if it was a virus, I mean, would, would I really do that to you? And they said, oh, we have a virus on your computer. Oh, <laughs> you're going to have to fucking get this out of your computer. No. So here's what I do. I'm not sure if I'm not sure if a lot of you guys are saying, how many of you guys right now have this popping up as a virus? 
Um, one, yes. Two, no. I want to wait and see what the response is. Maybe for Chrome, Chrome detects it as a virus. Maybe if you've got malware bytes, it detects it as a virus. I don't know. It's a false positive is what... Okay, so this dude, Akib... Um, yeah, this dude, Akib here, he says it's a false positive. Indeed, my friend, it is. All right, so it seems kind of even. Some people are saying it's a virus. Some people are saying it's not. All right, so it's a little bit of a tricky process, but don't you worry, my friends. I got a solution, and it's the red Twizzler right here. Use this, and you'll be able to download the file without a problem. There it go. It's solved. But no, that's not the solution. Here's what you're going to do. Hopefully, I don't show anything too sensitive here, but we're going to minimize this. The file is not on my computer because it, it insists it's a virus. So what we're going to do is go to Windows Defender or whatever the fuck app you use to defend your computer. It's going to consistently tell you that, hey, there's a virus on your shit. But no. What you have to do at this point now is turn it off somehow. So you're going to go to settings and it's going to say, um, it's going to pull up a window like this if you're in Windows 10. And you're, it's going to say real-time protection. This helps you to find malware and stop it from installing or running or blah, blah, blah. Hit off. You're going to turn that shit off. And now your computer's going to fucking lose it and tell you that, hey, you're going to catch AIDS in the asshole if you don't... If, I don't mean any real offense by that. I know there's some people that will take offense by that, but I don't mean any offense by that, okay? But once you turn your defender, your virus protection off, it's going to tell you you're fucked. Don't listen to it. Just ignore it for now. And you're going to go and leave this off. We're going to turn it on right back after, as soon as this finishes downloading. And we're going to reopen the link. Let's download it again. And it worked. There we go. <coughs> as you can see, <coughs> at the bottom of the screen, these first two attempts with the virus protection on failed. But this last one was successful. So we are good. Now let's minimize this. And we're going to dr and let's turn this back on. And we're going to... Oh, wait. Maybe it's not good to actually turn it back on until we actually extract it. But for now, we have those two files. So like I said, these are the two files that are in the description of the video that you need to download. Once they're all nice and downloaded, you're obviously going to want to extract them. So we're going to move this. We're going to open this over here. It's going to tell you the WinRAR thing, blah, blah, blah. Evaluation copy my dick. You're going to just drag the folder to your desktop or whatever the fuck. Whatever the fuck you have this as your download location. And now that that's downloaded, we're going to delete it. And what well, we extracted it. Now we're going to delete it. And we're going to open this as well, too. And we're going to move this to the desktop, extract it. This one will take a little bit of time because it's such a large file. So we have to um, wait a little bit, but we should be good. Um, game <laughs> Gamer of time here with a pretty, pretty accurate comment saying, LOL, who the fuck buys WinRAR? I don't know, man. If there's anyone that ever bought it, you got fucking played, dog. I'm just telling you straight up. You got fucking played. Who the hell buys that? <laughs> I ain't buying nothing. Talking about, oh, your trial has expired for over a year now. You better buy the program. <laughs> nigga, buy this dick. <laughs> buy this dick, nigga. Oh, man. Oh, man. Tempest Kid, TK saying, oh, excuse me. He didn't say anything. He sponsored. Tempest, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, man. Let's fucking go. Benefits are in the description, my friend. Go there. Interact with the spawns group. You're cool people, man. The Discord is lit. But alright, so once this finishes, we can move on to the next step. I know there's some people that are still waiting for that first big file to download. So if you're still waiting for that first big file, type a 1 in the chat right now. If you're still waiting for that first big file to download. Alright, I think we're good. Almost. No, we gotta minimize this. This isn't what I was trying to show. I was trying to show this. It's gonna take a little while. Yeah, okay, so there's still some people. Some people are saying there's a thousand hours left to download it. It's it's necessary though, guys. It's either this or you make a dump yourself, and that'll take five, six hours. So I'm, I'm I think it'll be faster this way. Okay. Someone posted a comment that said Etika is a nigger loving Jew. How does that make any sense? I am a Jew. I'm a Jewish guy who's a nigger. Like what? How does that even? All right. I, I don't know, man. I'm not even going to try to break down that comment. I think he just copy pasted it. Actually, I mean, I am Jewish, guys. This isn't my hair. It's a fucking yarmulke. You couldn't tell. Shalom alaikum. Okay. 
Gotta run away from the Goyim, man. Fuck the Goyim. Okay? We good here, though. So we're gonna delete this. We already have the zip file. Send that bitch to the recycle bin. So now, all that you should have on your desktop is the first V288 folder, the Smash 4 Explorer folder, and Delicious Swimsuit Red Robin by Kai Ryan. So now you're saying, Etika, what do we do from here, dog? This is not, uh, not, now I'm getting a little intimidated. Don't you worry, my friend. Now we're going to move on, okay? Hopefully you're ready. I'm going to be doing this at a snail's pace to ensure that it's good for you guys. Now, one thing I also want you to do, actually, no, 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 we don't have to do that right now. So now, open this Smash 4 Explorer folder, and it's going to bring you to this. Should we go on the desktop view for this one? I I'll go on the desktop view once we start clicking shit, but okay, you're going to go to the Smash 4 Explorer folder that we extracted from the zip file. So, right there, just so you can see. And we are going to open Smash 4 Explorer, okay? So now it's going to give you some prompts. Make sure you follow along, you know, click for click as I do it. So this way you can know exactly what to do on your own end, okay? So it's going to tell you, please indicate the folder where Smash 4 Explorer can find the latest version of the game. The folder must contain the blah, blah, blah content. So we're going to go to the desktop and we're going to go to the V288 folder and we're going to click that bitch. Just click the folder. Don't click any of the subfolders inside of that motherfucker. Just click the motherfucking folder, okay? Hit okay. It's going to say, in order for Smash 4 Explorer to work, the information must be correct. USA Zone 2, to just hit save. Fuck it. Project created. Bam. All right, so now you're good. And now you're going to get this prompt open up over here. So we're going to close that folder for now, and we're going to leave this prompt over here. Hopefully, your boy don't fuck up. But let me know if you're following along, okay? All right? Let me know if you motherfucking followed along. Niggas, nigga dog in the chat spamming brick. Can one of my mods please rain hell on that nigga? Rain hell on the nigga, okay? But right now, this is the process. So this is the main way that I'm aware of, at least, that you're able to mod Smash Brothers. You use this program, and you can literally plug, drag and drop the mods into it. But for now, we're going to leave that alone, okay? We're going to jump to the Wii U, all right? So get your SD card. I'm, I'm just going to show you guys what's on my SD card right now. Just so you can see. And I want you to understand exactly what the hell the deal is with this, okay? So I'm going to open up my SD card on the desktop. I'm going to go right here. There ain't nothing on that bitch. That shit is empty as fuck right now, okay? And it's going to stay empty for the current time being. This is a very important part of the modding process, which I'm about to show you guys, okay? So we're going to remove the SD card. Remove it. And, of course, I removed it, so it disappeared from my desktop. Just put it in your Wii U, right? We're going to close the little door. And we're going to power the Wii U on. And you need your gamepad for this. You can't use your Pro Controller. This process requires the gamepad in a big way. Just letting you know. So, we're going to actually go to the Wii U viewer now. I wish I could show you guys my actual gamepad. But I don't have the ability to do that right now because there's no capture card on the fucking gamepad. Well, there is one, but I ain't giving Katsu Kitty no more of my fucking coin after I spent so much money on trying to get a capture method for the fucking 3DS. And so many people have been asking me, Etika, why haven't you been streaming 3DS? It's very fucking insecure right now when it comes to my recording methods and it just doesn't work as good as it was beforehand. I don't know what's going on, guys. Right now, I'm just so burnt off of recording 3DS titles because it requires so much. I just really hope the NX fixes all that somehow. But for now, we're on the Wii U, right? What type of watch do you have? I have the Moto 360 Gen 2. So we're going to go on the Wii U to the web browser, okay? And this is important because this is a big part of the process. Go to the web browser. Actually, give me a second. I want, I want you to go to this website that I, on the Wii U, okay? Go on your Wii U now. You know, the whole thing in the desktop. We'll go back to the desktop eventually. But for now, we're on the Wii U. I want you to go to this specific website right here. I don't know if it lists the website on the actual viewer window, so I'm going to link you the website in the description. Go to this website on your Wii U right now. And it is uh, www.loadine.ovh. Make sure you type it in correctly, okay? I'm like, this is it. Let me link this shit in the description right now. You're going to go to this website. I'm going to spam the fuck out of this thing. 
That's the website you want to go to. Alex, I know to make the folder with numbers right now, man. I'm not doing that at the current moment, though. I'll tell them that process later, Alex. Don't worry. I have it saved up on here. But thank you for reminding me, though, man. Yeah, you definitely... It's better for you to make sure that I don't fuck up rather than to, you know, to, to, to get to that step and I fuck up. But don't worry. I got it. For now. <laughs> but, um, okay. That's the website you want to go to on your motherfucking Wii U, okay? Is this correct? This is correct. Okay, yeah. Actually, oh, 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 okay. So, right now, just, we can actually wait until later. But for now, this is good. All right, for now, this is good. So, once you're at that website, just chill for a little bit, okay, guys? Just chill for a little bit. Where's the V2H folder? I have it on my desktop right here. It's still right here on my desktop. I'm, I'm doing this all in real time, basically. But for now, once you get to this website, chill for a little bit. You can put your gamepad down. You ain't got to do nothing else, okay? Gamepad away for now. Just make sure you're here. And you also want to maybe bookmark the website as well, too. Maybe bookmark it so that way you can go there fast if for some reason you're not on that page afterwards. Oh, and DNS to block the Wii U updates? Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm going to give them, I'm going to show them that option too if you do want to do that. But I was told by Alex that even if the Wii U does update, that you can apply the mods after the fact. All you have to do is just change a few variables. But, like, I don't, I don't want to throw people up because one thing that they're telling me to do right now is to make it so the Wii U does not update on its own so your mods can still work. So I'll show you guys this option as well too. This part is optional if you really want to do this or not. But, we can go to the Wii U menu, let's go back, and you can go to system settings, and then this is, will involve you going into your Wi-Fi settings, or whatever internet connection settings that you have, and, but then again, I don't even use Wi-Fi on this, I use my Ethernet, but you're just basically going to change the DNS, I, I, I hope I'm not like confusing some of you guys with this, but you're going to change the DNS to ensure that Nintendo is not able to send an update to your Wii U. Or you could just disable Wi-Fi, but then again, you probably want to play online with Smash Brothers too. So this is probably the better method. But you're going to go to Internet Settings. I can't show you this accurately on the gamepad. So this is going to be kind of a raw dog thing, but you're going to go to the whole... Let me see here. You're going to go to Connect to the Internet. Okay, it's really hard to show you guys right now, but you're going to go to Connect to the Internet. Then you're going to go to connections and you're going to go to your Wi-Fi connection, whatever that may be. You're going to go to change settings and you're going to go to DNS. It's going to say don't auto obtain, leave that shit there and then you're going to enter in. <sighs> you know what, I'll, I think I'll leave this as an optional thing but maybe I'll get the footage from the other video as well too because some people, some people might have difficulty with this because what if they want to, what if they want to get the updates? It's a little strange. I, I think I'll just make a follow-up video to it. So for now, that's an optional thing if you want. If you really do want to disable updates from Nintendo, then I'll, I'll link the numbers that you should be using for the DNSs in the chat. And I'll spam those shit so that way you're able to see them. 107. Wait a minute, Silver says you should throw jo I should throw Joshua on you. That boy will tear you up, no homo. What the hell are you talking about? Joshua he, he ain't tearing shit up. <laughs> two primary one oh seven dot two one one. I just don't want to confuse people too much. One four oh zero six five and then secondary DNS. Wait a minute. What is Alex saying? What's it, what is what is he spamming? Rather, Alex says, "Um, next Wii U update stops the hack. Smash version. Um, reget patch. Yeah. So like it would stop it, right? So we have to make sure because this process is gonna be." We would have to stop the update on the Wii U, right? If we do truly want to keep using the mods for it. So, I guess this could be said a necessary part of the process. So, for now, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll just send you guys the information to be able to do this on your own. Because I can't show it. It's on the gamepad, you know? This is going to be a difficult part. 
this is kind of where things got a little bottleneck before, but this process, this part of the process is, it's not necessarily necessary for installing the mods, but if you don't want your Wii U to update and you don't want to potentially be locked out of doing the mods later, but, or making some adjustments to your process, then I guess this is the way to go. Let me see, and then 104, 236, 072, and 203. All right, so here we go. You're going to change, go into your internet settings and literally change them. Um, you're going to do not auto obtain the DNS and you're going to manually put in these two DNS codes for the primary and for the secondary. Do this if you want to ensure that the updates from the Wii U do not automatically happen. So if there is a new update, you're not automatically kicked off if you're doing your mods. It's But for me right now, I, I, I guess it is sort of necessary, but not super necessary. Like it's not going to make or break the process that we're about to continue to do. But I guess for the hacking guys, it's kind of like, you know, a convenience. Your shit doesn't update on you automatically. But all right, so we're going to leave the Wii U for now. Like I said, as long as you guys, let's go back a step. As long as you guys are able to go to that website, then you're good, okay? So just go to the Lodine, um, the Lodine.ovh website and you'll be okay. Hopefully I didn't confuse you guys too much or throw the process off a little bit too much for you dudes. Let me know with a thumbs up if you're still, you know, on point. Thumbs down if you don't know what the fuck is going on, okay? As long as you're up to the website step, then you can give me a thumbs up, okay? The website step, if you're good there, you're good. If you just decided to change your DNSs to the numbers that I provided in the chat, then you're good as well too. Um, let me see. We're going to go back to that website. Let me just make sure that I enter it incorrectly. H. Yeah, I wish there was a gamepad view in this bitch. But for now, we're just going to load this website and ensure we're good, okay? Alright, so once you're here, you're good and you can continue off of the desktop. Someone said they were lost because they didn't even have a fucking Wii U. <laughs> Maybe you're not as lost, man. Maybe you... <laughs> no, I'm playing. I don't want to shit on Nintendo any more than they've already been shitted on. But all right, so we're good. So now let's go back to the desktop. And we're going to actually proceed with this modding process from this window. So let me see. What's the next thing that we should do from here? We have a couple of options. We can actually start downloading mods now and install them on the game. But the biggest thing that we should do right now is take out your SD card from your Wii U. As long as you're on that website, you're good. Now you're going to remove your SD card. Take it out. Put it back into your motherfucking computer, okay? Put it back in there. Now, I don't know what's on your SD card, but like I showed you guys before, and it'll tell you, oh, there's an, there's an issue with the drive. There ain't no issues with no drive. You're good. If you've been using this SD card for your Wii U for the longest, then there is no problems. But once the SD card is actually in there, you might have files on it already. You might have pictures or other kind of things from your previous Wii U experiences, but mine is currently empty. Regardless of what status your SD card is in right now, you're going to want to make a folder on that bitch. And you're going to name the folder this. Don't worry, I'll send you the name in the chat as well, so you'll be good. But you're going to name the folder that, okay? So let me send you those numbers directly right now through the chat window. Please make sure that you're able to copy these. Because it's going to be extremely important that you make that folder on your SD card. So, this, I know the spam sucks. The spam sucks dick, but there's going to be some people that are a little thrown off. And I want to ensure that they're not. So, make a folder with that number combination as the title in your SD card. Just leave that shit there. Just leave the fucking numbers hanging out. I'll wait a little bit. I'll wait a little bit. Let me look and do the chat real quick. This chat is going at a million miles a minute. Holy shit. Holy shit. So, give it like a few more seconds so that way people can make the folder or whatever. Then we'll continue. Etika the spammer. <laughs> I'm sorry. I had to do it. I had to do it. Don't worry. Nintendo won't ban anyone before me. <laughs> Why is there so much brick in the chat? Some people think that the Wii U will get bricked, but I've been told it's virtually impossible to brick it. In comparison to the ARM9 loader installation, which is significantly more dangerous, this is nothing. 
Oh, and for Europe. Okay, another thing, guys. For Europe, it's different. It's a different code for Europe. Joshua is actually... Okay, so it depends on region as well, too. So while this is the code for the U.S., Europe might be a little bit different. It might be a little bit different. Let me see. All right, so are we good? Some people are saying it's not different. Oh, 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 it's not there. Okay, so we're getting we're getting kind of like mixed responses here. But for now, I'm just going to follow the process the way I have been and we'll con like I'll, I'll make an update video. Shit really is that different, but for now, if you're doing this if you live in the US, you're good. So once that folder is made here, we're going to close this shit out. And we're going to take our motherfucking SD card. Actually, put the SD card back in there. Take it out, put it back in. All right. I'm just going to, at this point now, I'm just going to follow it to where I know it's accurate for me. And I'll make, I'll make the necessary changes or accommodations depending. But so far, if you made that folder with that number combination, you're good. So now we get to somewhat of the fun part. We're going to, now, so we have this program open up over here. And remember, to open up that program, you're going to go to this folder with the Smash 4 Explorer stuff. And you're going to open the actual executable program right there. So Smash 4 Explorer. Make sure that you get to, I guess, know this. This program, although it's a little complex to know. There's a lot of variables here. There's a lot of things that come down in this list. But hopefully, after this stream, this won't be as confusing to you. From what I was told about mods, apparently it's all about knowing where they go. That's a big part of the process. So let's actually download some mods right now to see how they work. So we're going to go to this website, GameBanana.com. You can type it in yourself. I'll also leave a link to it in the chat as well. But GameBanana.com is where you want to go. This is where most of the mods are. There are people that release them in other places as well too. But for the most part, Game Banana is the G-O-A-T when it comes to finding mods for Smash Brothers. So now we are going to go to games and go to Super Smash Brothers for Wii U. And this is where all the mods will be located for the game on this website. Um, there's some people that release mods on Twitter exclusively, but hey, just for demonstration purposes, we're gonna go here, okay? Someone said go to Gay Banana. <laughs> oh man, Joshua, I'm not gonna go to your skin, okay? I'm gonna do whatever the hell I wanna do. All right, all right, Josh, I appreciate your suggestions. You can, you can install the mod if you want, but I'm doing this for demonstration purposes. I'm going to install what I want to install, okay? So let's find something that we want to install. So we're going to keep looking down here. There's a couple. This, this page is always updated with a bunch of stuff. And I said that I did want to do a lot of first-time reactions to these mods. So I'm not going to go too deep into the rabbit hole. But let's find some that are interesting that we want to add on. So um, well, let's see here. Something that stands out. Have all these different skins. And you know, we have motherfucking Politoed Greninja. Let me see here. What, 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 what else do we have here, man? What else do we have here? I think they also categorize it by characters, I think. So we have skins over here. We can click this section. And okay, let's get, let's get a skin for corn real quick. Why not? Why the fuck not? So we have corn skins over here. Um, I'm, I don't want to look at them too much, so let's just... Okay, we have the uncensored female corn pack. So this one actually has it so her leg chaps are not covered up like they are in Smash Brothers and they're the way that they are in Fates naturally. So let's download this mod pack. Why not? And we're going to manual download it. Go here. Download. Blah, blah, blah. That winds up in the download list. Uncensored. <laughs> okay. Let's continue. Let's find one more mod. One more mod. Why not? Let's see what else is around. Let's go to the second page. Is this skins? Now let's look at general mods. Let's just see what else is on here. Let's go to the second page of this list. Or is there even a second page? There is no second page. I don't know how we go further into it, but maybe there's like a number thing? I don't know. Okay, let's go to skins. Why not? And let's see here. Skin, 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 something interesting. Um, page two. Why not? We have uh Ash at you. Fucking uh, and we have Donald Trump supported Diddy Car. Let's do this one. Let's do this one. Donald Trump Diddy. 
fuck. This stream about to get shut down. Not over modding the game, not over modifications or anything, but just because we're fucking <laughs> downloading a fucking Trump mod for Diddy Kong. We're going to download that. It's called Make America Great Again. So for now, let's close this. We have two mods, and we're going to try to install these. We have Christian Wong also joined in the sponsor. Christian, what's going on? Hopefully, you're still on point with me when it comes to these mods. But okay, so we have the uncensored female Kamui pack right here. And we have the Donald Trump Diddy over here. Make America Great Again <laughs> is the name of the file. That shit is fucking hilarious, man. But all right, so with these two mods, how do we install them now? So make sure you have these two on your desktop. The thing is, is that this file that we downloaded, the big one, is actually really important. So make sure you know the location of this always. If you move this file to a different location in your computer, then Smash 4 Explorer might not be able to find it, and you'll have to repoint it in the direction of where the big v2aa file is so keep that in mind usually i just keep these things on the desktop but we're also going to extract the folders from these mod packs so let's get the uncensored commonly folder out of there and let's get the diddy kong donald trump <laughs> folder out of there so these two are out great and we can just delete the zips from this point so with these here now it's not as simple as just dragging the folders over there's some complex steps to this, guys, so this might be where it gets the most tricky, okay? So please follow closely if you're still up to the process at this point, and I'll show you guys the way it's done. Because like I said, Alex Stefan has told me himself that this is all about knowing where things go. So hopefully I don't fuck this one up on camera. But for now, you're going to open the, the let's open the Diddy, the, the, the Diddy Kong folder first. We're going to open that shit up, right? Got the Diddy Kong folder right there, and you're going to see a bunch of files in here. And these are all the files that make for the different looking Diddy Kong with the Donald Trump shirt on and shit. So keep these on standby. In the Smash 4 Explorer program, we are going to open up the data folder. Click the little plus to open that shit up. And next, we are going to go to Fighter, I believe. Then go to Diddy. Then go to Model. Then go to Body. All right, so I know that was a lot of steps right now. Let's run through it one more time. I just want to make sure I don't fuck someone up. But all right, we're going to close this for now. Now, to install the Diddy Kong mod, we're going to go to Data. We're going to go to Fighter. We're going to go to Diddy. We're going to go to Body. And we're going to see this list right here. So you know how in Smash Brothers there's eight slots for different palette swaps? Those eight slots are actually represented by the C... Um, XX numbers here. So C00 is slot number one. This is slot number two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So that's the way it plays out right there. For the mods, we have to choose which slot the Donald Trump Diddy Kong is going to replace. So just for ease of use, I mean, we can do any of them. Let's replace the first character slot. We're going to get rid of Diddy's original palette swap. Um, and Alex, can you stop spamming? I, 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 I get it. I get it, Alex. I get it. Okay? I get it. But we're going to get, we're going to just go to the first slot and we're going to see all these files here. Now, if you see the comparison of these files to the ones that are in the Donald Trump Diddy folder, you'll, def you'll notice that they're actually exactly the same name. So we're going to copy all the files in the Diddy Kong Donald Trump folder and we're going to drag them on top of the folder listed c00 don't drag them anywhere in the actual files themselves but drag it specifically just to the folder head right here make sure you're accurate with doing this because if you drag it and drop it somewhere else you're fucked so just drive it <laughs> drop it over here and bam now one key thing with this program is that if there is a mod in any of these folders it's going to be green all right so green means clean <laughs> christine can you help me please I can't get out of tail on man. Green means clean, right? Rest in peace, Washer. But green means clean. You're good. There's a mod there, okay? So this mod is already installed, and that's as easy as the process is. So we're going to collapse these now, close these off for the Diddy Kong mod. Now we're going to go to the different fighter, and we're going to look for Corin, aka Kamui. Kamui right here. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to open up the Kamui folder. Make this, let me make this full screen. The Kamui folder, we're going to go to, well, Kamui model, body. And once again, we're going to see the eight character slots. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. 
These represent the eight slots in the palettes. I told you this already. And now we're going to close the Diddy Kong Donald Trump mod folder and we're going to open up the Kamui folder here. This is also going to have a folder in it called Model Body. And we're going to see four folders here, which each pertain to where female Kamui is located in Smash 4 Explorer. So it says folder C01 right here. You're going to open that folder up and you're going to open up the fo same folder on Smash 4 Explorer. And you're going to drag model.nut and drag the nut to the actual wait folder right here. Make sure you highlight it and drag it and drop it on the folder. Right? So there we go. Palette swap for the first female commonly for uncensored is installed there. I'm going to close that. C03. Open that one. Drag the model nut and do this for all the corresponding folders from this point forward. So drag that over here. That's installed. Remember, green is clean. So this one is actually installed. <laughs> Why is the chat? <laughs> Why is the chat? Nut. <laughs> nut. <laughs> you niggas. You niggas are fucking stupid, man. <laughs> nut. <laughs> All right, let's continue. All right, so you're going to drag the nut from the corresponding folder to where it should be. And as, whoa, 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 what the fuck's going on there? Hold on. Let me close that. We ain't, going, we ain't trying to get too crazy right now. But all right, so as you can see, we edited 01 and 03 already. So those are green. And that means clean. So now we're going to go to 05. I'm going to go to 05 in the mod folder. Drag the nut to 05. Bam. It's green. Close that one, and we're going to go to the last folder here, C07, open that one up, and we're going to open that up on the Smash 4 Explorer, and drag the nut to the folder itself. Can't emphasize enough how important it is to drag it to the folder itself, because that's what Alex told me to do. So now, with that said and done, we've installed our two mods. <laughs> Give yourself a fucking round of applause. Give yourself a motherfucking pat on the back. You good money. And at this point now, the only thing left to do, you don't even have to close all those folders. You can just leave them open. It doesn't really fucking matter. You're going to go into project. Now, remember, at this point, your SD card has to be in your motherfucking computer, okay? Leave the SD card in the computer. Don't move it. Leave it in the computer for now. We'll put it back in the um, Wii U later. And like I said, it's going to tell you there's a problem with the SD card. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. It doesn't know what the fuck it's talking about. Kind of like me. But all right, so now we're going to go to project and go to build the mod. Don't worry about any of the other options. Just use build the mod. Hit that shit, and it's going to give you a window that says rebuilding resources. This feature will rebuild the resource. Just click OK. So now it's actually putting the mod in the game, and you're going to see it go through a couple of um, text prompts here. It's going to say rebuilding resources, installing the data, putting the nuts in place, stuff like that. Just make sure that this is good. So now, with your SD card in there, another thing, your SD card has to be named, that it has to have that folder on it that we showed you guys earlier. It has to have the folder with the scrambled bunch of numbers on it, okay? That's a fucking must. And if you have that, then it'll also say, do you want to copy the newly exported mod to the SD card? Obviously, because that's where the mods are gonna be kept. So hit okay, hit yes, and it'll say calculating the time for it, but let me see here. It says the process can take a little while, but for now, just let that motherfucker copy the thing to the SD card. It'll say adding them to the SD, and then it says operation. At the, I, I don't know if you can see it from your perspective on the stream, but from here it says operation completed. Please check the blah, blah, blah. If you've encountered any issues, there were no issues. This thing is perfectly fine. So now this is all said and done the SD card now has your mod on it and if we go to the actual SD card where we made that folder you'll see that it has some shit in it so the folder is right here but it also has the, the stuff for the modifiers for Corin and for Diddy Kong so great now you can take the SD card out of your Wii U let's I mean excuse me out of your computer let's go back to the Wii U now because the Wii U has been sitting on that browser screen for a little while now and like I said as long as you're at that website on your Wii U you're good 
with your SD card in hand with the mods installed, you're going to put your SD card now back into the Wii U. Doesn't matter if it's on or off or in the menu screen or on the browser window that I told you to go to, the website. It don't matter. Just put the motherfucking SD card back in there with the mods on it. Pay attention because this part threw me off a little bit as well too in the very beginning. Alex, Stephanus, Nikki, thank you for showing your boy the light. But okay, so now on the fucking Wii U gamepad, you're going to hit the drop down menu and it's going to show you a lot of these options, right? A lot of them are going to be here, dude. You won't be able to see this on your end as easy. But on these options, what you're going to choose is... You're going to look for the one that says SD Caffeine. SD Caffeine, hit that. You should be able to see it right now on your um, Wii U screen how it'll look. So you're going to choose SD Caffeine plus kernel 5.5.0 dash 5.5.1. You're going to make sure that's the option that's highlighted. And if you want, for convenience sake, you can also click the little checkbox here that says remember this choice as an ad, as a permanent blah 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 automation D this will just make it default to this option all the time so you don't necessarily have to hit the drop down and click sd caffeine over and over again so this is where <laughs> alex Stefanis, yo man chill that nigga said the next step <laughs> what's the next step alex what's the next step to this process dude what's that next step man i don't see it nigga said the next step Oh wow, the boy Alex Stefan has got banned? What the fuck? He, he, that boy said next step, drink bleach. That's the next step guys. So once you enter in that option from the drop down menu, you're gonna wanna walk to your kitchen and grab yourself a nice warm cup of bleach. Make sure you have it. Make sure you have a recent brand, man. You want to go with something like Clorox, a well-known brand, something that's bought like you know within the last two months. Make sure that it's fresh, because nothing beats a cold cup of some fresh bleach. You're gonna, you have your cup right here. You're gonna fill it with the bleach, and then you're gonna, <laughs> and then you're gonna take a nice chug. <laughs> Okay, so let's continue. Once you do that part, then you're ready for the next step. So, so now you're going to open the fucking. So now you're going to go back to your Wii U, and you're going to hit submit. Right, that little green check mark. It's going to give you these prompts. It's going to go right back into the menu screen. Go right back into the browser. So let, do it fast. Do it fast. It's going to open to the menu. Back to the browser quickly. Quickly. You have to do it from the gamepad. You can just click the browser icon right there. Next, it's going to give you another strange looking screen. Just, it's going to give you all blacks. What the fucking shit is this? Why are we on YouTube? Okay, did I do this right? Let's go to the website again. What the fuck? Oh, okay, okay. Auto launching, blah, blah, blah. Um, okay, so now it's going to launch it. Okay, you have to go back to the website. You have to go back to the website. Enter it in again. I don't know why it didn't say... Okay, press A button now. All right, and now you're good. You, okay, you have to go to the website twice. Once you do the whole um, SD caffeine highlighted, hit submit, and then it's going to kick you back to the menu, hit browser again. Then you have to put the website in again and go back to it and then it's going to send you to this thing just press a button through it and then bam you go back to the menu and you're good this is i know this is gonna come i wish i could show you the gamepad so you could see this shit for yourself but I, i'm telling you that's the way it is but for now once you do that website thing twice you go to the website twice like that the, the mods are now apparently running so we're going to go to smash brothers and we're going to start this up and hope that nothing fucked up and that I don't make myself look like an absolute idiot on camera. Good lord almighty. Maybe this fucked up because of the bleach step. Yeah. So, oh look, someone said the dab. <laughs> okay, let's go back to the game. <laughs> It's gonna ask you, do you want it? This is only because our SD card is empty, so I'm just gonna let this thing rock out, create the new album data, 
It's all good. We don't care. He didn't do the bleach. <laughs> of course I didn't. Next step, nutsack sandwich. <laughs> I can't, man. This is too much. This is too fucking much, man. But okay, so finally the game fucking loaded. So now, hit okay. It's all good. So now, like, you, if you guys remember, when we installed the mod through the, um, through the Smash 4 Explorer, we chose the first slot of Diddy Kong to be the one that's modified. And remember, green is clean. So the green folders here for Diddy Kong's model are the ones that have the um, mods in them. So we go to body and we're here at, oh, excuse me, this is Kamui. But as you can see, the Kamui mod um, that we installed for female Kamui is literally all green. Those are the four female Kamui slots. Let's go to the um, body of Diddy Kong. That's a sentence I probably will never ever say again in my life. And we're going to open model here and you'll see yourself, hey, the first one is highlighted, which means the first one must be where Diddy Kong is modified. So let's go back to the game. Whoops. Don't you hate it when you accidentally hit the fucking shoulder button on the gamepad and you go back? It sucks. Green is clean, okay? Green means edited, blue means DLC patch, and gray means base game. Oh, interesting. I didn't know that. All right. So we're going to hit this we're going to go through the prompts so remember we edited all the female Kamui skins so we can literally use let me see here we can literally use any of the female ones and the mod should show up i'll just use my gamepad here okay and i'll just choose Kamui real quick black one that's my favorite I like the black and the neutral one as well. And next, we're going to add in a CPU. Let's let's make it stock. We're just doing this to show you if the mod actually worked or not. And now the other mod that we installed is the Diddy Kong Donald Trump mod. I'm hoping I did it correctly. And it's the first one. Remember, it won't show though on the character portrait. And there actually is a way. Um, well, if the mod creator actually makes a uh, portrait for the character on their um, on the character select screen, then there's a way to install that. But this one didn't come with a portrait, so therefore we don't have any indicator to know truly if it's Donald Trump Diddy or not. You just have to be aware of where your mod pack is installed and know which slot it is. Otherwise, you'll get confused. It's, I can see this being a trouble for if someone has a lot of mods installed and they don't have character portraits at all. Then you'll be like, what the fuck did I install? Who the hell? <laughs> Which fucking palette is it? But thankfully we don't have that problem here since we only have one mod installed. So okay, we're gonna hit start button now. And if this worked correctly, then we have an uncensored Kamui and a Diddy Kong that we want to see dead. But we've wanted to see Diddy dead for years now, so it's all good. Let's start this off. Hoping it worked. Oh god, it worked. Okay, so there we go. All right, there we go. So let's see here. We got female Kamui uncensored. The mods actually were successful. So as you can see, we got them. We got them delicious thighs right here. God, that's. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. I when I when I talk loud. The fucking thing comes back, but okay, we got fucking female Kamui <laughs> hooked up. She's got, she's uncensored. Okay, great. So now let's take a, but, but like I was saying though, goddamn, <laughs> it doesn't really cover much now, does it? Maybe I can see why um, Sakurai <laughs> actually um, censored it up a little bit, because damn, you see the fucking start of the camel toe for crying out loud. That's a little bit crazy. But all right, now let's check out Diddy. Let's get a better shot of that nigga. That Trump supporting ass nigga. Let's wait until he does a something that's there. Oh, okay, this is not really a good. Right though. I think. Okay, there we go. Oh, we can't really see it from there. There we go. That's a perfect view. And now, if we look, 
<laughs> Diddy Kong. <laughs> Diddy, how you feel about Trump getting roasted on Twitter by Hillary last night, man? That shit was crazy. As you can see there, we have a Trump supporter in the form of Diddy Kong right there. So the mods worked, the installation worked, the whole thing came through. I'm not sure if it worked the same for you guys, but as long as you follow the steps that I listed here, there may be some slight variations depending on if you're in a different region or not. That's a little tricky, but for the most part, this thing should have worked for you. Um, and if we also look at his hat, it says, Make America Great Again. <laughs> Who would make something like this? I mean, I don't understand it. It's so confusing to me. Like, why, why, why this? And why on Diddy? But it, it makes sense to be on Diddy, because I guess he's like one of the more annoying characters, but really? Either way, we have two things modified and installed. And you can go to town. If you're on Game Banana, you can, you can literally install all those character models. Um, there's probably going to be some more complex steps if you decide to do someone that has a, a portrait to them and stock icons. But for now, this is the basics of modding. And any mods that I do in the future, get, guess what? Heads up. I'm going to be doing a mod showcase section. Yay! Yay, nigger! And it's basically going to be, you know, showcasing different mods. Hopefully that'll put some more life into the modding community and give a lot of these mod creators a lot of the respect that I think they deserve. And also, it'll be something exciting and fun to do on the channel, which will bring some new flavor back into Smash Brothers since it's a game that's been complete for a little while now. I'm excited about it. So if there's any mods that require some different kind of installation or require to be put in different places or anything, then hey, I'll show you the way that it's broken down. I know there's a lot of people that can do it on their own, but there's even more people out there that don't know what the fuck is going on. So that's the, that's the crowd that I'm hoping to help out in this thing, okay? But if, as long as you have your SD card, these files downloaded, Smash 4 Explorer, then you're good. You see how easy it is to do, right? We literally started this shit so long ago and it actually worked out. So, I mean, hey. Overall, this is the way it's done. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you just see an eye full of ass. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. Like, what the fuck? Oh, man. <laughs> That's crazy right there. That's crazy, right? <laughs> okay, but I think we've gotten the point now. So that's all I'm going to be doing for today, guys. I just wanted to make sure I show you guys the process. I'll be making a nutshell version of this video, one that's way shorter to show you more details. Um, well, it'll, it'll be shorter, but it'll show you some more details, and it'll add some troubleshooting in, in case there are some different things that you have to do for your region. But for now, if you're living in the U.S., this process should have worked. So at this point now, here's the big... Thing, you know, I won't be too hurt if I see too many thumbs down, but thumbs up if following this video from the start and doing all the download steps and all the installation steps works for you. It's thumbs up. If it worked for you, every, if you followed everything I did and it worked for you, thumbs up. If not, thumbs down. Let's see how this worked out because I try to make it as foolproof as possible. So thumbs up if you're good, thumbs down if you had a problem at some point, you couldn't follow along, you didn't know what was going on, confused about a step, anything like that. I'm just going to be waiting for the response in the chat. And then we'll conclude this. We have thumbs up. Oh shit. Oh, we got a lot of thumbs up. Niggas was able to get in on it? Oh shit. Oh, I feel great now. Oh man. Alright, great, great. I feel really good because I'm seeing a lot of thumbs up. People are saying that this thing worked. Um, the Mic the Mickelator says my download finishes in 36. Oh damn, guys! All right, so it worked for you. I I'm glad. I really am happy, man. Yeah, I was really worried that this shit was not going to work out, but thankfully I was able to dummy it down <laughs> enough. You know, I I'm a self I'm selfly I I'm a self admitted dummy in some regards. So for me to be able to explain it to you all, I really had to like make sure that it was easy to digest, and thankfully this helped. So yeah, man. Oh, and then <laughs> Kobe, them feet! <laughs> Yo, Kobe, oh, look at Diddy Kong, them feet! <laughs> them feet, nigga. Anyways, we're good. Some people, it wouldn't work for them, but I'm gonna try to ask around and see what issues some people have with this character select screen. As long as you upload this, I'm cool. Don't you worry, man, this is gonna be uploaded ASAP. And it shouldn't take that long since the stream is probably going to be concluding now. I didn't want this to be a super long stream. And I probably might do something... Well, no. I'm not promising shit. I don't know what the fuck I'm going to be doing later. I don't know if I'm streaming later or anything like that. I still want to work on this section because there's a couple of other things I got to do, like the intro and the um, GFX. I don't know what I'm doing. 
<laughs> but for now, as long as the initial process is good, people can see how easy it is. It doesn't really require that much. So you could potentially be doing this on your own. Let's actually let Diddy Kong win so we can see how his character, well, his win pose looks with the Trump shirt on. You can't even see his shirt. But we can see his hat. It says, Make America Great Again. There we go. Guys, hopefully you're good. I'm glad I was able to do this. And thankfully it worked without a hitch, at least on my end. If you're having problems with this, the best way to be able to let me know um, is on Twitter. And if you are a mod creator yourself, you want me to showcase some mods in general, you can also let me know through Twitter. That's where I'm going to be accepting, you know, where people show me this shit. There's a lot of crazy mods out there. So getting into that is going to be an exciting prospect for your boy. And just as a little something something, I also want to show you guys a little intro that I made for the mod showcase segment. There's no audio to it right now, so it's a little bit raw, but I'm going to be spending my time today adding audio and making it stand out. So, you know, it, 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 it's, it's cool. It's cool. Let me see here. Where is that intro? Where is that intro? Um, mod intro, is this it? I don't know where the fuck I put that thing. Where in the fuck did I put it? Oh, here it is, here it is, okay. So yeah, this is the little intro I made for it. No audio, but hey, my showcase, hey. And it's gonna be a transparent one, so I'll overlay it over some footage in the background, something like that, you know, but this is just a raw, transparent file of it. So yeah, that's something that I'm really excited about. Can't wait to go into it. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Like I said, Twitter is the best place if you want to contact me when it comes to the mods or anything like that. If you have trouble, let me know, man. Um, guys, I will see you all later on. Thank you to Cryptic04 for joining the Spawns group. And I'll see you in the next video or the next stream, whatever it may be. But I'm going to go finish up working on this mod showcase thing right now so this section can go up as soon as tomorrow. I really want this thing to be pushed out, and I want to make sure that the explanations are good for it. I'll see you in the next one. On the flip side, take care of yourselves, and of course... As usual, please have yourself a damn good one. And that was a little crazy, but hopefully it didn't, hopefully something didn't fuck up. <laughs>